Do you make a study plan? In our first exercise, you are going to watch a clip about making a study plan. Watch the clip and answer the questions please. The answers will appear just after each question as we do in all of the exercises. Don't forget to take notes. Exercise 1 Let's watch the clip carefully. Good students usually have good study habits and know how to plan their time efficiently. Some find it helpful to draw up a five or six day program each week and plan what they will do when. Of course one cannot always keep to such a plan, unexpected things often happen, but even the making of such a plan forces us to think about what we ought to do during the week, and this is the first step towards doing it. Let's watch the same clip again. Don't forget to take notes. Good students usually have good study habits and know how to plan their time efficiently. Some find it helpful to draw up a five or six day program each week and plan what they will do when. Of course one cannot always keep to such a plan, unexpected things often happen, but even the making of such a plan forces us to think about what we ought to do during the week. And this is the first step towards doing it. Question number one. A weekly study program can be very useful. A. After good study habits have been established. B. But doesn't lead to better study habits. C. So long as it isn't very detailed. D. Even if one doesn't keep to it exactly. E. If one knows, it can't be changed. D. Even if one doesn't keep to it exactly. Question number 2. Good students. A. Only do what they ought to do and not what they want to do. B. Waste a lot of time thinking about what they ought to do. C. Owe their success to good study habits and careful planning of their time. D. Take five or six days to do what they could do in two or three days. E. Can't plan their time efficiently without someone to help them. C. Owe their success to good study habits and careful planning of their time. Question number 3. One advantage of drawing up a work plan for the week is that A. We realize that a lot of work we do is unnecessary. B. Unexpected problems can be avoided. C. We can give ourselves two whole free days. D. It reminds us of what we have to do during the week. E. We soon grow used to working at regular times.
D. It reminds us of what we have to do during the week. Exercise 2 Do you like lakes? In our second exercise, you are going to watch a short clip about two friends and on the lake. Watch the clip and answer the questions, please. The answers will appear just after each question as it is in the previous exercises. Don't forget to take notes. Let's watch the clip carefully. John and I set off an hour before sunset when it was getting cooler and the shadows were long. We took it in turns to row the little boat and move slowly, following the edge of the lake, and looking rather lazily around us for fish. We had no intention of catching any, but it was pleasant to watch them swim so close to us. Let's watch the same clip again. Don't forget to take notes. John and I set off an hour before sunset when it was getting cooler and the shadows were long. We took it in turns to row the little boat and move slowly, following the edge of the lake, and looking rather lazily around us for fish. We had no intention of catching any, but it was pleasant to watch them swim so close to us. Question number one. In this clip. A. We are told about the adventures of a couple fishing in a lake. B. The speaker expresses a feeling of contentment. C. The speaker describes the pleasure of catching fish at dawn. D. The speaker's intention is to describe the movements of fish in a lake. E. We see that the two friends are interested in catching a special kind of fish. B. The speaker expresses a feeling of contentment. Question number two. The two friends. A. Woke up early and went fishing. B. Got in their boat and rowed across the lake. C. Were too lazy to row the boat together. D took the boat out to enjoy themselves rather than to catch fish. E. Stayed out in their boat until it was dark. D. Took the boat out to enjoy themselves rather than to catch fish. Bonus question. The speaker and his friend enjoyed. A. Catching fish after it was dark. B. Fishing late in the afternoon on a cool day. C. Watching the setting of the sun on the lake. D. Rowing together when the sun was setting. E. Observing the movements of fish around their boat.
Can you please write your answers in the comments of this video on my YouTube channel? Let's see whose answers are correct. Thank you. I am a teacher of English, and doing the job that I love. Please visit and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exercises and subject explanations. Thank you.